I am Marissa Miller, and today I am going to show you how to solve addition and subtraction equations. Now, in this lesson, each student will receive a packet that has problems for addition and subtraction equations solving variables, um, addition and subtraction inequality solving variables, multiplication and division equations solving variables, and multiplication and division inequalities solving variables. And throughout this unit, the teacher can pick out one regular written out problem and one word problem to do with the students on the board so that they can keep these this packet for notes throughout the unit to work with to use whenever they work on worksheets. Um, so we were going to start with the addition and subtraction equations in this lesson. And we're going to go ahead and go to page two. And we're going to work on question two for addition and subtraction solving variables. And the question says 43 equals A minus 21. So 43 equals a minus 21. Now the important thing to remember when solving for a variable in an equation or in an inequality is to make sure the variable is by itself so that you can get the answer to that variable. Um, so in this case we have to get rid of this minus 21 or this negative 21 in order to get this A by itself to get the answer. So in doing this, I'm just gonna put a line through this equal sign. And this here explains to students that it helps them understand that on each side, it must be balanced. So what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So we will start off trying to get this A by itself. And in order to do that, we will have to add 21 to both sides. Now why add 21 you may ask? That is because we need to get rid of this negative 21 and the only way to do that is to make it equal zero. And negative 21 plus 21 equals zero. So we can cancel that on on that side and that leaves us with just the variable a. Now on this other side we actually have to solve it. And so we'll do 43 plus 21, 3 plus 1 is 4, and 4 plus 2 is 6. And right there is our final answer. But one key tip for students is that they can take this number they just solved for for the variable and plug it back into the equation. That way they can make sure that the number they got for the variable is correct. So let's see if we got the right answer. 43 equals A minus 21. Oh, we're replacing this A with our 64. So 64 minus 21, we gotta make sure both sides are balanced. So this side equals 43, this side must also equal 43. So we'll do 64 minus 21, so 4 minus 21 is 3, 6 minus 2 is 4. Those are balanced. That's the correct answer for the variable. Now that's just the basics of solving for an equation um, just using mental math. So next I'm going to show you how to solve an equation using the counter method. So let me uncover this little code sheet here. And this will help kind of explain what the counter method is and um, how we can use it. So in the counters, there's usually two different colors. Some of them come in yellow and red. Some of them come in green and red. It just depends on what counters you get. These ones are yellow and red. And in this set, yellow represents a positive number red represents a negative number, x represents a positive x, and a red x represents a negative x. 
So this is just a way for students to just be able to understand where you're coming from with these counters and help them remember, okay, yellow's positive, red's negative. So whenever they're counting, they'll know that for sure. So for this method, we are gonna use question number eight on page two. And it says, Bradley's sleeping bag weighs seven pounds. His backpack and sleeping bag together weigh 35 pounds. How much does the backpack weigh without the sleeping bag? So first, we're gonna break down the problem. And we're gonna write down what it gives us. So Bradley's sleeping bag weighs seven pounds. So sleeping bag weighs seven pounds. His backpack and sleeping bag together, that's an addition problem, weighs 35 pounds. The word together indicates addition. So sleeping bag plus backpack equals 35 pounds. And the question is, how much does the backpack weigh without the sleeping bag? So we're trying to find out how much his backpack weighs. And of course, I wrote pounds on all of them. That's just going to be the measurement we're going to go for in this problem. So looking at what they give us, we already wrote out what equation we're going to need to use for, to solve this problem. So we're going to do sleeping bag, which is seven pounds, plus backpack, which is our unknown variable. So we're just going to represent that one by x equals 35 pounds. So I'm going to do just like I did last time. We need to make sure each side's balanced. So I'm going to put a line right through the equation sign so we know which side needs to be balanced with the other. So with the counter method, we can see that there are seven positive units on this side. So we're just going to count out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven positive units on that side. And we also have a positive x. Now how I know that's just one x, there's just an imaginary one right there. So we're just going to write one x right there. And then on this side we have 35 positive units. So we're going to count out 35 units. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35. All right, so remember, whenever we're solving an equation for a variable for an equation, we need to make sure that our variable is by itself. And in order to do that, we have to get rid of the 7. The only way to get rid of the 7 is to subtract 7 from that positive 7. So we have positive, 7 positive units here. We're going to need some negative units in order to get rid of that 7. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 negative units. And what we do on one side, we must also do on the other. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So looking at this, we will know that one positive yellow counter cancels out a negative red counter. That equals zero. It's kind of like one minus one. That equals zero. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs cancels out. So that leaves us with the X by itself on one side. So we're doing great so far. Now we also must do the same thing on this side and cancel out seven of these positives. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now all we have to do is count how many positives are left on this side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 
Romans 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So we're left with 28 positive units. And that is our final answer. Now, as you can see, this is a pretty simple method. All students have to do is count them out and remember that a yellow and a red counter cancel each other out. So here, to check our answer, we're just going to plug in the variable. 7 plus 28 equals 35. We've got to make sure each side is balanced. 8 plus 7 is 15. Carry the 1. That's 3. That's balanced. That's the correct answer. So uh, those are just some, two different methods of solving addition and subtraction equations. And uh, depending on which student uh, is more comfortable with, um, they can choose the counter method or they can choose the mental math method. But uh, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.